It's always a creative argument. I wouldn't call it a fight. But, uh, you know, we have our moments. The creative team was S-Ray Productions, which consists of myself and Sooner Ruthier and Ashley Zapar. For You to See did all of our content out of Montreal. And they work well with us. Great, great creative people. But you put us all in a room and we throw a bunch of stuff against the wall and at each other and then get all angry. And here we are. You come out with a, a kiss show. Kiss uh, 25 ish years. The challenge of this tour was it's the last one, and you have a band that's been in the business for 40 plus years, and they've seen and done almost everything there is that a rock band can do. So, how do you make it different, relevant, and something the fans will remember as their celebration of their last tour? There are certain staples you have to keep. You have to keep all the pyro, you have to keep some type of gag. Paul Fly, Gene Fly were always staple moments for the band they do live so you have to keep those things but then build the show around them uh in, in a more modern way so we used to have tons of marshall cabinets behind them forever whether they had mirrorplex on them or lights and if you look through past tours over the last 15 years those marshall cabinets became video panels sometimes and sometimes they were a mixture of the two and you have the kiss sign that would move and then then that became video where then the video moved it just had to it had to evolve to as technology evolved to keep them relevant within the touring business and you know they depend on people like myself and others to show them what's new and what's out there because they obviously don't keep up with it they go see shows all the time and go wow what's that and half the time don't realize they do the same thing because those people got some of those elements from what they do <laughs> the darts for example that we're using on this show we needed a light that does that can spin 360 and create a beam and put a large amount of them together and create one wall of moving light and not to mention as i've mentioned before there's tons of pyro so it has to be able to live through that you know so we had a lot of these bought we tried them out we loved them and said okay let's go ahead and add to the rest of it you know and do it all and you'll see that in tonight's show and that they're everywhere the up, whole upstage wall and floor lights, nothing but darts. You know, it's one fixture and it's pretty bulletproof. You know, we've put them, we've put that light, you know, through a lot of tests and it's, uh, it's, it's pretty badass. We have Viper, was it Viper Airfix? It's, uh, it's kind of the workhorse of the show upstage and then uh, VL6Ks above the band, you know, creating your larger spotlight looks. This band's kind of known for you know, constant ballyhoos and things of that nature. And we had to calm that down and bring it down. But we still have to have that large fixture that can cut through everything. Because again, we have pyro smoke. We don't need haze in our show because we create enough of it. Um, but those are our main fixtures. Those are our main three. As they like to say in the Rock Band Kiss, if it's worth doing, it's worth overdoing. So everything they've ever done was big and bulky and heavy. You know, everything in the air was heavy and just, it had to be big and hard. It couldn't really be virtual as we're so used to doing for so many other bands that we design shows for. And I had to show them that you can still be big and huge without it being heavy, you know, and having two trucks of set and a bunch of set carts. And we can actually make this show look massive and just as heavy without actually having the hard physical equipment. They, they kind of let us just be creative. Most of us within our company have been around this band a long time. And again, there's the fine line between being creative and 
sticking to what they do, but also keeping them relevant. You know, and that's what we do. We know the big, certain dark and brighter looks they love and enjoy. And then we get to create around that. It's just like the fly gags. We have to have the fly gags, but then we create around that. And, uh, you know, they trust us. We show them, we run through it. They give us their opinions and uh, we move forward. They're just, the permits here are a little more expensive and a little more in-depth. Um, you know, everything, this is our power company is FFP from Germany. So they know the officials very well. And it's just different hoops you have to jump through for permits here in Germany. They were the biggest band in the world. You know, that's what they started. They still, they still retain that as far as rock bands are concerned. And as far as the lifts and fly gags and big pyro and confetti, they started that for rock bands. You know, they took the show side of things and expanded it. So you have to keep that level moving up because so many other people have done it, you know, after that. to music to you know it doesn't matter I get it from everywhere and it also I listen to a lot of music and it's what do you what is your interpretation of the your favorite band or the fa your favorite record you're listening to right now you know what do you take from that what do you think they should look like if you were to go see them even as a fan you know that's how it started for me you know I like the band I like the record but I felt like they should be presented like this and that's why I do what I do no I'm not upset <laughs> I get a lot I have to say this you know if you bring four trucks of park ends you have to bring two trucks of power to turn them on you know you can get a lot more bang for the buck out of LED fixtures from a power standpoint you can do a lot more with it and it's almost endless As a fan, my dad used to listen to them growing up all the time, so I was always influenced by his music. Um, so I've known them for a very long time. And then my first kind of introduction to this side, the creative side, and you know, working for the band was about two years ago. Um, I worked on another show as an audio tech um, that Robert and Sooner had designed from S-Ray Productions, and then that's when I got swooped into, into their world. We all worked with the content team with 4U2C um, and we went through every piece of KISS film and history that existed and created all of the content for this show and we gave them creative direction and specifically said, you know, these songs from this era need to have this kind of image. We're looking to, you know, create those emotions through the content that the fans experienced when they listened to those records. They love to see themselves as larger than life on that screen. So we actually had to find the balance between content and the band. So there's quite a bit of iMag in the show that's cut with the content. And a lot of our content, we created different frames around it. So you still get the image and it's not just a blank or a, a flat iMag image on the wall. So you, you are staring at it as a giant TV, but it's the band that's up there and it's showcasing them in their moments. So we also used um, quite a few notch effects, which is a specific type of technology that creates filters and different interactions. Um, so as you'll see in some of the, the pieces that we used older footage, that's not nearly as clear and high def as our new stuff. We actually created a notch effect that gave that same filter to our iMag. So our live performance looks just like the content that was from the 70s and 80s. But it's them performing on stage now with that same kind of black and white gritty feel that they started with. It was definitely something that we had to tweak during the rehearsal period. We did 
two periods of rehearsals um, for the specific production. And we also went into previs with the lighting. So you can create all this, the lighting previs and the content, but then when we put it together, we definitely all had to sit back and see what was best for the production. Sometimes content had to take a step down and other times lighting had to adjust theirs so that everything balanced. Um, but everybody was was actually you know, great team players and eventually we all got to look at it and be happy with where it sat and give lighting its moments and give content its moments, but all of it surrounding the band and those boys on stage. That was very important to them because their fan base is, is used to KISS. You can't take KISS away. So, but we wanted to use new elements like LED tape and lasers and fun pyro effects that had that they haven't used before. And once they saw that, they were very open to including that, but it was important. And you'll see in the content, although HD and from 2018, 2019, it still has that iconic KISS feel. So they didn't lose that. The top of the show, the intro to the show, is something that we've lived with for so long, and it's the first time that the crowd gets to see this massive spectacle that we've gotten to create. So watching the crowd reaction to that initial kabuki drop is, is pretty cool to see every night. And then towards the end at Black Diamond, the way that the pyro and the lighting and the band members kind of perform that song, the way everything comes together, there's some pretty cool picture and Instagram moments that people love to capture. I think the biggest issue is that, you know, in an indoor arena, we're in a very controlled environment. It's pretty much the same show every day. You know, there's not as much tweaking, right? The roofs are a little bit more consistent. Our stage space is a little bit more consistent. We carry our own stage with us, but in these outdoor venues, we can't use that because the deck is obviously built. Um, we're also at a factor for weather and different permits with how people come in and out and where that flows. So arenas are easy, <laughs> relatively speaking. Outdoor shows, there's a few more curveballs that we have to take into consideration. It's actually really special to be able to get to work with them and, you know, hands-on. They were very hands-on through the entire process. And to be able to create this lasting image with them is something that you can't really put into words.